Hi everyone, welcome back. In this session, I am going to discussing about data sufficiency. We will continue the last session. Uh, and uh, here the first question in this session is uh, P, Q, R, S, T are sitting around a circle facing the center. Here total 5 members are there. Total 5 members P, Q, R, S, T for 5 members we need to draw the diagram. And all the five members are sitting around a circle and all the five members are facing towards the center. And who is, the question is, uh, who is second to the right of P? That is the question. Second to the right of P, that is the question. So, the first statement is given as uh, R is immediate left of uh, T. R is immediate left of T. Let us take T is here, R is here. R is immediate left of T as uh, all the five members are facing towards the center. So, immediate left of uh, T is R and uh, second to the right of S. Here, this sentence is belongs to the first person. Why? Because uh, here the word end indicates that uh, R is immediate left of T and second to the right of S. R is second to the right of uh, S. So, S is at this position. Second right means this one. Now, the question is, uh, here these are the three positions which are exactly occupied and remaining two positions are not occupied and remaining two positions are one is P and one is, uh, uh, one is P and one is Q. P, Q positions are not at uh, fixed. Now, if you see, if you look at this one, if P is here, if P is here, second right of P, that is uh, T. If P is here, second right means Q. So, you cannot say exactly the answer is uh, either, either, either of the answers. So, you cannot say exactly answer is either T or Q. So, you will not get the answer by using statement uh, 1 alone. Now, let us look at the second statement which is Q is immediate right of S. Here the second statement, total 5 members, these are the 5 members, Q is immediate right of S. Q is immediate right of S. Let us take uh, this diagram. And third to the left of P. Here Q is third to the left of P. If Q is third to the left of P, if P is at this position third left, that is wrong one. P is at this position third left, that is wrong. So, P must be at this position. First, first left, second left and third left. Q is third to the left of P and Q is also immediate right of S. Now, the question is, who is sitting second to the right of P? Second right, first right is yes and second right is uh, Q. Guys, you have to be very much careful about this one. Some people may get confused that uh, they will combine both the statements. Uh, here in this question, even though you are not combining both the statements, you will get the answer. Who is second to the right of P? Here, second to the right of P is Q. Why? Because uh, second right and third left, uh, both positions are same when five members are sitting uh, in a circle. So, second right is same as that of third left, both are same. That is the reason why in both the cases the answer is uh, Q only. So, you are getting the answer by using statement uh, 2 alone. Therefore, your required answer is uh, option B is the required answer. Data in statement uh, 2 alone is sufficient to get the answer, option B. Next question. See here, P, Q, R, S, T. Here also 5 members are there. All 5 members are sitting around a circle and uh, all of them are facing the center. All of them are facing the center. Who among them is uh, sitting immediate right of R? Immediate right of R, that is the question. See, first statement is Q is sitting between uh, P and T. Q is sitting between P and T or else you can also take like this. This is T and this is P, right? And uh, next one, and T is sitting immediate right of S. 
T is sitting immediate right of S. Suppose for example, if you take uh, T is at this position, T is immediate right of S, but here T is not immediate right of S, so T is not at this position, T must be at this position, so that you can fix uh, S at this position. T is immediate right of S and only one person is left over among P, Q, R, S, T. P, Q, R is left over that is uh, at this position. Now all five members uh, or R places are fixed. Now the question is immediate right of R. Immediate right of R that is S. You will get the answer by using statement uh, 1 alone. Now let us look at the statement uh, 2 alone. Q is second to the left of R. Total 5 members. These are the 5 members. Q is second to the left of R. Let us take R is at this position. Q is second left. And next, uh, and is uh, second to the right of S. Q is uh, second to the right of S. Q is second to the right of uh, S. S is at this position. Then only Q is uh, second right of S. Yes. That is condition uh, statement 2. Now the question is immediate right of R. Immediate right of R, your answer is uh, yes only. Your answer is uh, yes. Immediate right of R. You will get the answer by using statement uh, 2 alone. It means you are getting the answer by statement 1 alone as well as statement uh, 2 alone. Therefore, your required answer for this question is uh, Data in either of the statements are sufficient to get the answer. Option C is the right answer. Let's move on to the next question. See here, who is sitting the immediate right of Thanisha among five friends sitting around a circle facing the center? Here, as we are talking about five friends, uh, we don't know those five members uh, uh, at present. By using only the question, we cannot say exactly who are those five members. Uh, here, one person is Tanisha. One person is uh, Tanisha. He is asking about uh, immediate right of uh, Tanisha. Who is sitting immediate right of Tanisha among uh, five members who are sitting around a circle. Now, let us look at the first statement. Ayesha is sitting exactly between Kanak and Sneha. Ayesha is exactly between... Uh, Kanak and uh, Sneha and uh, one more possibility this is Sneha and this is uh, Kanak right two possibilities uh, and Sneha and Raj sorry and Raj is sitting to the immediate right of Sneha suppose Sneha is at this position to this position Raj is sitting Immediate right of Sneha. Immediate right of Sneha already is Ayesha at this position. If Sneha is at this position, this condition is not satisfied. Therefore, this position must be Kanak and this position must be Sneha. And uh, here he is saying that Raj is sitting uh, immediate right of Sneha. This is Raj. So, already four members are completed. Remaining only one person is left over. That person is uh, Tanisha. That person is uh, Tanisha. Now the question is, uh, who is sitting immediate right of Tanisha? Immediate right of uh, Tanisha. Here, the position of Tanisha is this one. So, immediate right. That is uh, Kanak. You are getting the answer by using statement uh, 1 alone. You are getting the answer by using statement 1 alone. Don't keep answer option A directly. Why? Because you need to check it out option uh, second uh, second statement also. Whether you are getting the answer by using statement 2 alone or not. Here, 5 members. First of all, uh, take 5 lines. Uh, here, statement 2 is, Tanisha is sitting exactly between Kanak and Raj. Tanisha is exactly between Kanak and uh, Raj. We can also write like this. Uh, this is Kanak and this is Raj. Two, pos two possibilities. And Ayesha is sitting to the immediate right of Kanak. Ayesha is sitting immediate right of Kanak. Suppose Kanak is at this position, then immediate right of Kanak is Tanisha. So, Kanak should not be at this position. Kanak must be at this position, then only it is possible to draw the diagram like this. 
ayasha is exactly to the immediate right of uh, sitting immediate right of kanak so kanak is at this position automatically raj is at this position tanisha is at this position and one more person that is uh, sneha that is sneha so this is uh, one more person now the question is immediate right of tanisha immediate right of tanisha that is kanak here also you will you will get the answer by using statement uh, two alone you are getting the answer by using statement one alone uh, as well as statement uh, two alone therefore you are required answer for this question is uh, option c either of this statement alone are sufficient to get the answer guys i hope you enjoyed the session thank you thank you very much for watching